Uh, this is Scott from Scott Pulsini Trader, and this is a quick overview of the new zone drawing tool that is now available on the Bookmap Marketplace. Um, so anyone that's followed me that knows my trading knows that this is the foundation of my trading, these tops and icebergs. It shows where the these um, impactful volume events happen in the market, where traders are loaded up in, um, and or the big money taking positions in the form of icebergs, which are hidden orders until they're traded into. Uh, I'm not going to go into the strategies and the rules for how you trade these, but um, <clears throat> even if you don't use my rules, having this information is still incredible, as we talk about all the time. Having this information in areas you deem important is critical, right? And if you're not using this or know this is happening, you just don't have all the information. That's all I ever preach. So anyway, just a quick overview. You can see here this. Um, it's picking up, for instance, in this, in, in this instance, it's a stop run, buy stop run, draws a zone for you. Um, so, and then over here, same thing. This one was also a buy stop run. And then down here was some buy ice. So some quick things about this. Uh, you can adjust it. So, you know, as, so the developer from my uh, trade room, Yohan, he came up with this brainchild and, you know, figured out a way to get this information on chart. <clears throat> and it's incredible and there's another version coming out I'll talk about that in another video a pro version which is even more ridiculously incredible but this is um, having this drawn for you saves so much time and the area and you know just having it ready to go for your trading is is crucial so in my opinion so anyway <clears throat> what you need to know about this is you can definitely adjust these zones to sometimes you know actually a good example would be this one is drawn perfectly but a good example where you would possibly adjust these things um, you know, again, I talk about this on my, in my trading course and in my live webinars, my trade room, my book map webinars all the time. But this would be an instance where you may adjust. So you see there's, it picked up both of these by iceberg events, threshold iceberg events. So it draws for each product. This covers, I think, 19 different futures products. Uh, and they're all listed in the, um, CL long there. entered. There's one far enough right there. Um, they're all listed in a, uh, in the. Um, on the bookmark marketplace, all the markets it covers, but it's basically every futures market on the under the CME umbrella. <clears throat> so, what it's doing again is picking up the CME MBO data, the enhanced data, and it's showing you where these icebergs and stop runs occur. So, in this instance, you see there was buy ice here, definitely threshold over a thousand, <clears throat> and then right after that, another 800. So, in this case, I would combine them. So, if you come over here and you hit the B button and your scroll reel. Can see I can scroll that down here and I can move the top up here so then I can basically incorporate both of these events in one zone so it, it gives you that option to move it you don't have to you know not all of them need to be touched a lot especially as this you know as Yohan works on these new versions it gets better and better and better as far as the drawing where you don't have to really even uh, adjust them like this the stop run was correct this stop run was correct <clears throat> as far as the accuracy uh, the other thing you need to know, <clears throat> excuse me, is when you see this delta, it's just telling you how big the zone was. So this one was a uh, one, uh, point, one point seven five points. This one was three point seven five points. Uh, and then this one, it's harder to see because I just merged them, but I think that's four point five points. So that's what that is. And then if you know if you want to delete. For instance, like I, I don't need to have both these zones. You see how they're kind of overlapping. So if I want to delete one of them, I just hit this X button here. And it deletes the one. And there you go. Then you got four and a half points. So you can delete them. You can adjust them. And you can add them manually as well. So say, um, so sometimes we do see where the, you know, so for instance, 700 is the iceberg threshold to draw, to, to pay attention to these volume events uh, in ES, right? So say sometimes you'll get 400, and then another 400. Well, the zone drawing tool is not gonna pick that up because it's looking for um, a concentration of volume of 700 or more. So sometimes you'll have to draw these manually where you'll add them together and draw the zone. So you have specific keys for these. So F1 is buy ice. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this to work. It's just not working, all right, there you go. So that's buy ice. F2 is sell ice. Go. F3 is buy stops. There you go. And it draws across 
until a new event comes in, right? And then it'll cut off. Uh, and then F4 are cell stops. So you can draw these manually as well. So pretty incredible stuff. Uh, what else? And then also in this version, this will have the ATR. So <clears throat> again, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get into my <clears throat> strategy now I trade these things, but uh, ATR is crucial, the average true range. Hold on here, this is, I'm gonna get out of this stuff here. Um, average true range is crucial in knowing I use a five minute average true range and that's also uh, tracked here. You can see on the sub chart, so it'll help you, um, you know, determine, I have distinct rules with ATR. If the market can get an ATR away from the zone, it determines if it's bullish or bearish. So anyway, it shows your ATR there on the sub chart. And then I'll go on another video, I'll go into the, the pro version of this, which is ATRs on here and all the reversions for the reversion trade. It's, it's pretty incredible. But anyway, that's the basic tool. Very, very handy. It saves, you, saves me so much time and having these things drawn. And you can just glance at these and, you know, they draw on all these different markets and you, you know, whatever markets that you're watching, they'll draw according to, the, to my thresholds and you can adjust those too, but my thresholds will draw. <clears throat> and, you know, again, this is the foundation of my trading, trading off of these, and they should be yours as well. At least you should be watching where these occur because they are very, very, very important uh, volume areas. That's it. Thank you.